Lions Rock Productions. What are your thoughts as you see us pull out of Afghanistan and you think about our current involvement throughout the world and, you know, how do we, how do we get better at this? Those are questions that are, are, number one, very difficult to ask, but they're very germane. As far as Afghanistan goes, I, I would take the liberty of saying past is prologue um, in the sense that uh, I'll be so bold as to state that really not, not since World War II have we been very successful uh, in our overseas intervention uh, with the exception of Desert Storm. Um, and we have a not just a history, we have a legacy, arguably, you could say from Korea, but that, that was a unique situation with the UN. Uh, the fact that the uh, uh, Russian, Russian delegation walked out of the Security Council when the vote was taken to intervene. Uh, so there were, there were some unusual aspects to that. And then, of course, we ended up, we being the United States, ended up being the the leaders of the pack and that whole thing i mean with support from the brits and uh certainly other countries uh but take korea off the list and then, then you can start with vietnam uh which which i am a product of uh two tours the record's not real clear and it's certainly not very positive and uh, uh i've had the fortune misfortune of uh serving in El Salvador um, as a naval attaché at the peak of the war down there. Uh, as Pete probably told you, I, I was I was reared in Latin America. I'm bilingual Spanish. Uh, probably spent more time there than I have in the United States. Um, you know, uh, we went in with, uh, with good intentions in El Salvador, but we chose to ignore history. And uh, uh, we, are, we are reaping we are reaping the bitter weeds of our involvement down there. And we can go into that later on if you want to, Pete, but uh, uh, many of the problems that, that uh, we are dealing with in Central America right now, uh, you could argue that Genesis was, was back in our, our uh, decision in the late uh, 70s, early 80s uh, to support the government of El Salvador. Unfortunately, it's just gotten worse. And then, you know, you scroll forward uh, to, uh, as I said, I, I think the exception is Desert Storm, mainly because you had a very talented military man uh, that was calling most of the shots there, Colin Powell. Boy, oh boy, you take a look at our intervention in uh, 2003, March of 2003, into, into Iraq. Uh, why? What? And then, you know, you could argue that there was, uh, you want to use a theory of war or the justification of war caused Belli to go into Afghanistan, Taliban, try to go after bin Laden. Um, but we decided to stay. And, and instead of going in and getting the hell out, uh, we homestayed uh, at, at great financial cost, not to even mention human costs. Um, both for Americans, our allies, and absolutely for the Afghanis. You know, I look at this this history that I have lived, and and uh, I don't know if Pete mentioned to you, I spent a short stint in 1986 in Pakistan, <laughs> helping the guys that are fighting us now. But uh, you know, that was against the Russians, so it was okay. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I can't answer your question, Pete. I mean, how do we get in and how do we get out? Shouldn't yeah. we? Go? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think General Luke, an Army General, and I happen to retire now, but I happen to, uh, to have a great deal of respect for, uh, in the Afghan papers that recently came out earlier this year, he's quoted, you know, what the hell are we doing here? Yeah. Do we know what we're supposed to do? What, what, what we're supposed to accomplish. 